We usually associate crepes with the sweet versions. However, today I'm going to show you one of my favourites. That would have to be the ham and Gruyere cheese crepes. They are sensational. And every time I have them, they remind me just a little bit of that time I went to Paris. So to start with, general rule with crepes, one cup of plain flour, two eggs, and around three cups of milk. If you remember that general rule, then you'll have pretty good crepes every single time. So I'm gonna start with a little well in the center here. And I want two eggs in the center. Don't put the shell in. <laughs> and one more. And I start giving that a whisk. So the reason for that well in the center is to make sure that we don't have those lumps in this crepe batter. I want this to be as smooth as possible. So we start to bring in the sides just like this. Of course, we need a pinch of salt straight in there. A little bit of nutmeg, that goes really well with the Gruyere cheese that we're adding later. So we'll start giving that a good whisk. And you can see I've already started to take a lot of those lumps out. And now we'll start adding our milk. So a little bit at a time, just to start it off. And we'll add the rest at the end. So this consistency right here is exactly what you want when you're making pancakes. So we're gonna take that a little bit further. When we talk about three cups of milk, it really depends on the flour. So some flour takes a little bit more milk than usual. And ideally, I'd like to rest these in the fridge for an hour before cooking. Not essential, I'm gonna cook them straight away because I don't wanna wait today. But if you can, put them in the fridge for one hour, let that batter rest, keep a little milk on the side and you just want to rehydrate that batter if you like. So a little bit more. And another way of measuring the consistency of the crepes is basically think of pouring cream. That's exactly how thick it should be. All right, it's looking pretty good. Now we want to add our chives. So nice and fine. And you don't want to overwhelm it with too many herbs. So just a touch in that goes. Just incorporate that nicely and it's as easy as that. Crepe batter ready to go. Now for the fun part, making the crepes. What I've got here is a crepe pan, a non-stick crepe pan. Essentially, just like a normal pan, but it has a shallower side, so nice and easy when we're flipping. So a touch of butter just for the first one. And here we go. So we start from the center and twirl that pan around. You can hear that sizzle, which is fantastic. You just wanna make sure that there's no little holes in that crate, look at that. You'll see the steam starting to come up and once it dries out slightly and detaches, and all we have to do is just wiggle it around. And this is the part when I was a kid, I used to love the flipping. Ready? Oh, got it. <laughs> See, that's what we want, that nice colour. Cook that just for a few more seconds on that side. We'll continue making the crepes and then what we do is start filling them with the cheese and the ham. crepes are ready to go and you can see I haven't overcooked them on the second side. Why? Well I'm going to start filling them with cheese so they're going to cook again in the oven so we don't want them to be too hard if you like, we want them to be still nice and soft as crepes should be. So Gruyere cheese, my favourite but again you don't always have to use this, you can use provolone cheese, you could use a little bit of cheddar would be wonderful, even some mozzarella. Anything that goes slightly gooey when melted is the perfect cheese for this. Don't be stingy with this, a good amount. And you want some nice thin ham, just like so, in the center, fits perfectly. And then all we do is roll that up. Oh, these are literally good enough to eat as is, but like I said, I want that gooey cheese, so we're gonna pop them in the oven. Do the next one. Good amount of cheese, bit of ham, Roll that up. And this is one of those great recipes you get the kids involved with. They'll love this. All right, last one. Right, so onto a tray, into the oven for about five to 10 minutes, and that'll give me just enough time to finish this dish off by making a poached egg.
Okay, so I can see that that cheese has melted and you can smell that smokiness of the ham. These are going to be delicious. Egg is ready, three minutes. And to present this, we just put, it depends on how hungry you are. Today, I feel like two crepes. We'll pop them on like this and we'll get a little poached egg and pop him just in the center there. A little bit more Gruyere cheese on top. That'll again melt. And just some chives just to finish it off. You know, for me, there's toasted ham and cheese sandwiches and they're pretty good. But when you convert a toasted cheese and ham sandwich to a crepe filled with cheese and ham, nothing beats that classic Parisian dish. Taken to another level with that poached egg just to finish it off. Great breakfast option.